Hi, I'm Elston. I'm a robotics and coding instructor with STEP. Here at STEP, we believe in making learning fun. I'm sure that you will agree with me that when you are younger, you tend to learn things better when it is interesting and fun. This is exactly how we design our robotics and coding program by combining education with entertainment. Our programs include building models with STEM principles and coding. Through our programs, students will learn critical core skills such as computational thinking and logical reasoning. Besides these critical core skills, they are also developing learning agility. So this means that they are able to apply what they have learned in different contexts and scenarios. For example, after they have programmed the models to move, they are required to transfer these skills to create a game. Just like in school, where they are exposed to different concepts and subjects, students will have to apply what they have learned to find solutions to problems. So these skills are essential in this fast-changing world that we live in. What is DSA? So after going through our program, students apply what they have learned into the competition table. So in this competition table, they have different tasks and missions to complete. So with what they have learned in terms of mechanism and coding, they apply it in real life context. When it comes to the competition table, there are some obstacles or problems that they will face along the way. So students are required to problem solve it on their own and to use what they have learned to try and accomplish what is set up for them. So for this forest fire rescue mission, students are supposed to build a robot and it is also an example of how technology can replace human to carry out the mission more safely and efficiently. So this is an example of how students can develop critical thinking skills and to apply what they have learned in these situations to find solutions to the problem. So for this mission, the robot has to deliver the two blocks in blue that represents water into the circle and after which the fire would be extinguished. So in order to maneuver in the map and avoid the obstacles, we are using two motors to have a better control of the model. So after depositing the water and the fire is ex extinguished, what we will do is to proceed to the other area and replant the two trees. To find out more about how we can equip your child with these skills, join us for a chat today.